All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and Shalom. foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Hashem Yahushai, Hashem Rakakodash. All right, the brothers from the Trinidad camp, the brother Amawan, the brother Bara, the brother Hawad, the brother Kwam, and myself, Makaza. We out here through the spirit of Yahweh, Hashem Yahushai, to do edification. And I mean, we we still debating the, the, the title, but you know, for now, you know, be sometimes Israelites versus an all time Israelite. Because coming in this truth, being an Israelite, being an Israelite is not something that we we do based off of, you know, what we see others do. Or we just do it just because hey, this is what people require. We do it as in John chapter 15, um, verse 14, it says, What if you love me, keep my commandments. We are Israelites because of the love of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai and also because it all is it is our, our, our nationality. Alright? So you can't stop being an Israelite. We are Israelites. Alright? And there are men that will come in the truth and they would only act as an Israelite face value in front of other brothers when, when they have supervision, when somebody are wrong. Then they do all the righteousness as they can, but then by themselves they be wicked as hell. And guess what? The Moses will destroy you. Alright? It says Romans chapter 9 verse 31. But Israel, which followed after the law of righteousness, had not attained to the law of righteousness. Wherefore, because they sought it not by faith, but as it were the works of the law. Alright? So you have to seek this thing of faith and do this work faithfully. Do your videos, do the, the street teachings, you know, not eat pork, you know, do the Friday Sabbath, you know, do the with your motion she periods, you know, stuff like that. Don't commit adultery. That is something that you do for faith. Yeah. I think you should, you should be a first, you should be first taught. You should be first taught because when you're studying, you should teach yourself first before you can come out and teach. You know? You're supposed to be the first person taught by what you study before you come out here and rehearse it. This is um Proverbs chapter 5, verse 21. That's the flow from what they were saying now. Uh, it says, For the ways of man before the eyes of the Lord and he pondered all his goings you know so even if you try to de deceive men you can't deceive the most high the scripture said be not deceived the most high is not mocked whatsoever man sweat so shall he reap right so the eyes of the Lord are upon men right so before you can come out here and teach a man you yourself have to be doing the things that you that you're trying to teach you because the scripture said when he had converted then teach right so when you're studying you know, you, you're studying to learn, you know? you're not studying, just a pass an exam because the scripture talk about um, men pleasing, men who are doing this work for what? Eye service. We're not doing this for eye service, we're doing this thing to, to what? To come into the understanding of the ways of Yahweh Hashem It says, verse 22, Proverbs 5 and 23, His own iniquities shall take the wicked himself, and he shall be holden with the cords of his sin, because the most high said he not mocked. Right? If you sow into the flesh, you, you reap corruption. If you sow into the spirit, you reap life everlasting. Right? So, the Most High will ultimately have you in a trick bag if you're just trying to please the eyes of men. It says, He shall die without instruction, and his and in the greatness of his folly, he shall go astray. You know? So, it's only, you're only fooling yourself. So, be genuine to yourself. And when you're genuine to yourself, you'll be instructed, and then you can teach other men all right to back up we were saying that um basically you're saying that you know they're, they're doing things just to please men huh. it's galatians chapter 1 verse 10 for do i now persuade men or yahweh or do i speak seek to please men for it for if i yet please men i should not be the servants of mashiach huh. you understand so we, we can't be men please us out here you understand give me philippians 2 and 12 you know, we can't be men please us out here. We are to seek to please the Lord Yahweh Shai. And when you're seeking to please the Lord Yahweh Shai, you would actually, even on your own timing, 
you will you will you will do the things that required of the lord yeah. you understand you wouldn't be like the hypocrites that go out in the public and pray you would pray in private you understand and you know basically it's between you and the most high it is between you and the most high at the end of the day yeah. so therefore you gotta work out that with you and the most high because whether a man believe that you sincerely serve on the man the, the most high or not that is that is that man's problem yeah. but between you and the most high if you serve in the most high sincerely and that is what count no the man believe but what what you doing to be accepted of him when philippians chapter 2 and verse 12 it says so like it says wherefore my my beloved as ye have always obeyed not as in my presence only but now much more in my absence work out your own salvation with fear and trembling right we well, said not only in my presence but also in my absence means that even when you don't have supervision around apostles elders camp leaders or any brother around you would always do the things that written in the law okay. the scripture said i delight to do thy will you understand you delight to do the will of the most that means you can always do what the scripture said if you love me keep my commandments okay. I want understand? To your faith. Well, this is Psalms 119 and 11. It says, um, Psalms 119 and 11. It says, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Can I said, I hid the words of the Lord in your heart that you won't go off you understand because the scripture said the beginning of fear or the most is when men depart from iniquity huh. <coughs> all right so when you depart from iniquity it's because you fear the lord you fear the most high so you're gonna try your utmost best to serve him you're gonna try your best you understand but you're not gonna just do it just because you know if you do this a brother will talk about it so you know just so that brother don't rebuke you you don't do it but when that brother not around let's let's let you fight with a demon like you know some brothers you know would have been in the world and they would have been smokers in the world all right but when brothers are around they will try to present portray this image as though they they overcome that demon but then when the brother not around then they go and pull a cigarette out really and truly being men pleasers and that is what we mean by being a sometimes israelite hey if you have a a, a, a stronghold talk to brothers about it brothers will be, be will be able to help you out that is part of the brotherhood helping each other with their afflictions with their dung with their dung falls and with their um, shortcomings that is part of being a brother that is part of the brotherhood all right yeah, it says um that's a that's a back up because um you know you are basically pleasing men by hiding the ship just to confess thy force to one another. You understand? Because that's part of the part part of the way to overcome. Okay. Confession. Confession leads to what acknowledgement that is you're transgressing. Alright, this is Psalm chapter fifty one verse three. For I acknowledge my transgressions and my sin is ever before me against thee only have i sinned and done this evil in thy sight because you know the lord said when you do these things you do it unto him honor the most high in your body you understand this body is the temple of the most high if you destroy this temple the most high will destroy you right just for the example of the cigarette you know but so be it with any other in any other um circumstance that, that we're gonna face in this truth they have a brotherhood we the moment is the birth of a nation this is you this is this is the whole nocturnal story we've been reborn we, we're coming back to the acknowledgement of who we are and we are our brothers keepers so guess what some brothers have problems trusting in our brother you know but you need to trust in your brother sometimes 
you know, because yeah, the spread might work through that brother. The spread is leading to who to talk to, who not to talk to, you just know. You know what I'm saying? Verse 4, against thee only have I sinned and done this evil in thy sight. That thou mightest be justified when thou speakest and be cleared when thou judgest. Right? So the transgression or, or the offense is against you, how about Shemiah Shai, not men. Right? So, cast off that pride. You know, we're not doing this thing to please men, not to please the apostles, not to please one another, not to please your camp leader, as Marcus, I was saying. This is um, Surah 23 and verse 19. Such a man only fear the eyes of men and know it not the eyes of the Lord that are ten times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts. The most high search in the reins of men, he searched the heart. David said, Search my heart, O Lord. Because your, your heart, which is your mind, really, and truly your lap, the Lord could, the Lord knows your intention. Remember, David said, O wretched man that I am, I do the things that I ought not. Right? Sometimes you have good intentions, but guess what? You go wrong with the wrong way. And you have a lesson to learn. But you need to be able to acknowledge, confess, humble yourself. You understand? This is Proverbs chapter 15, verse 3. The eyes of Yahweh are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. So you're not deceiving nobody but your damn self. Damn. You understand? I appreciate it. Right? Yeah, I don't know. I pray you. Okay. So, uh, these are Romans chapter 2, and verse 28. It says, For he is not a Jew, which is one outwardly. Neither is that circumcision which is outward in the flesh, but he is a Jew which is one inwardly, and circumcision is that of the heart in the spirit and not in the letter, whose praise is not of men, but of the Most High. Yeah, you understand? So his praise is of the Most High, means that he doing things to please the Most High. You understand? He worrying about the, what, what, what men might say. Um, about him whether positive or negative his praise is that he will be able to be accepted of the most high Yahweh Hashem Shai and be delivered and that is our main goal in this truth to be accepted of the Lord not to make a name here for ourselves all right hey talking about you brothers that believe in the truth all right you brothers that believe in the truth you are sometimes Israelite you can't be a sometimes Israelite because guess what that is our nationality being an Israelite is not about doctrine. It's not about, um, you know, religion. It's nationality. It, it goes back to the doctrine. You understand? It goes back to the doctrine. But guess what? But it's our nationality. It's not something you can put up and pick up and take. Put down. Exactly. You are always an Israelite. By seed. All right? Yeah, you said like you had some. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> This is, um, this is Proverbs chapter 10 and verse 16. It says, The labor of the righteous tended, tended to life, the fruit of the wicked to sin. You ah. understand? The fruit of the wicked is to sin. You understand? So, like, like you know, when they come in this truth, as the scriptures say, they came, they, were, they came out from us, but they were not of us. All right? So, you're going to have men that are in the truth. That gonna be in the truth, but not really one of your shies. You're not one of your shies fruit. Understand? Because you come in the truth, you know, trying to put a veil over brother's eyes, making brothers believe that you know you all in the spirit when really and truly you're not. You know, doubting the teaching that the apostles is doing. You understand? You're doubting the teachings, and you're not you're not really you're sincere, you're sincere and diligent for other things, <clears throat> but not to do the will of the most side. All right, and then you you get offended off of something, and then you exclude it and be. This is why you left. You left because of this. But guess what? You didn't leave because of anything. You you were kicked out. The spirit of the Most High, the Haba Hashem Yashai, spew you out. God, what you say he would do? Understand? So before the Lord spew you out, hey, get with the program. Put your put your best foot forward in this, and be at all times Israelite. The Scripture said. Be an example to the believers. Alright? You have to be an example to the believers. So when you're when you're an example, you it's not only your words, but your whole action gonna be an example. People gonna look up to you and find alright, cool. 
you know, this brother, this brother in the spirit, this is somebody I could look up to, this is somebody I could follow in the scriptures. All right? Because why? Because you did the will of the Most High sincerely and not because, you know, let's say, you know, the apostles say, all right, well, well, do this and do that, do this and do that, so on and so forth. That you do it. That is not serving the Most High. You understand? You ain't doing it just because it's a command. You're doing it because, hey, that is your delight. Your delight in it. When you delight in something, guess what? You're going to go home and you're going to study. You're going to revise. You're going to watch videos without somebody there to supervise you to say, ah, go and study. Hey, so like, I think about when I was in the, in the world and they meet that bro, that first bro, they delight in how you go on. You go on, on, on MySpace, you're looking up. You go on Instagram, you go on. You know, she always in your thoughts, and the same thing with this truth. You know, this is Baruch chapter 428, for what for as it was in your mind to go astray from the Most High, so be in return, seek Him ten times more. You know, seek Him ten times more. This is Baruch chapter 43, verse 30. When He glorified the Lord, exalt Him as much as He as He can, for even yet He will far exceed. And when he exalt him, put forth all your strength and, and be not weary, for he can never go far enough. Okay. You know? can, can, can never go far. You know, you can't done praise the most high. Yes, so. and you can't stop praising, praising the most high. So that when you when come into this truth, the Lord basically coming into this truth, the Lord dealing with you. The Lord gave you a second chance when you came into this truth. So don't squander that second chance. Don't come in this truth and then having doubts because you're in the wrong place. This this truth is about faith. All right. This is Galatians chapter four verse eighteen. It says, "But it is good to be zealously affect, uh, affected always in a good thing. To be zealously affected it means that you your whole passion for it. Not only when I am present with you. All right." So Paul said, so be zealously affect, affected, but not only when he present. All right? Not only when they are, not only when you put on the videos, you know, you're all diligent, you're all zealous. But guess what? Other than that, you don't really want to have nothing to do with the truth. You don't study. You understand? You just do the mandatory three videos, and that is it. You come out and do the works. But then really and truly, the remainder of the days out of the week, you've been a nigger. You've been a nigger. So you can't be a sometimes Israelite in this. You have to be at all times Israelite. I'm to just say, it. our scripture, okay, the, I think it's, um, it's in Romans, I think chapter 7. They say, and, and, and it slew me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sin take the occasion can. by the law. To the commandments. To the commandments. You have hold on me and whereby it slew me or something like that. Yeah, okay, yeah. For Romans 7 verse 11 I land straight on it for <laughs> sin taken occasion by the commandment deceived me and by it slew me can understand and by it slew me because why because you didn't put off that old man you didn't put off the old man you're coming in the truth with the old man and dragging that old man along but you're trying to put up a facade to brothers that you know you all you all well you all good you all diligent but really and truly in your own timing and that is why brothers sometimes when brothers see other men you know they leave in the camp or they get put out they wonder well this brother was that diligent brother why are you being put out why are you leaving and not knowing i guess what that is his spirit just spewing him more because why because he wasn't being an all-time israelite he was being basically a you know an, an imitator that is what he was doing. You are being an imitator. Understand? Uh, when Psalms one nineteen after the Sabbath, turn away mine eyes from beholding vanity, and quicken thou me in thy way. Establish thy word unto thy servant who is devoted to thy fear. Mm. Done. The fear of the Most High is beginning now. Wisdom. Mm. You know, that way you want to be. To turn away from your vanity, because pride and vanity is the destruction of a fool. You know, you want to be turned away from vanity. 
pride comes before destruction, being into yourself, idolatry, being into yourself, idolizing yourself. That's what this world teach, right? And hey, take it and take it, pull the wool over, over your brother eye and exalt yourself to, to, to look as though you're all righteous. The most high see in you. You understand? You see, wisdom exalted her, her children, and that's how it does go? Can. Uh, yeah. Wisdom exalted her children, so nevertheless, you're going to be seen through the spirit. Brothers who diligent with a hey, the most high um, promotion coming from the most high, you're gonna be seeing your work is what gonna stand out. Your work, you understand? It says, Second, as um, Ecclesiastical chapter 23, verse 18, a man that breaketh wedlock, saying, Dust in his heart, who seeth me, I am compassed about with, with darkness, and the walls cover me, and nobody had. Um, and nobody seeth me. It says, What need I to fear? The Most High will remember my The Most High will not remember my sins. For such a man only feared the eyes of men, and know it not that the strength, that know it not that the eyes of Yahweh are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, um. beholding all the ways of man and considering the secret parts. Oh, I, 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 yeah. And that is, that is just the most I see all things. You can't hide nothing from the most I. All right. Um, somebody had second as well, 16. Okay. Understand? You can't hide nothing from the most I. So, basically, just do the right thing. Stop being a sometimes Israelite. Stop, you know, just, you know, being an Israelite when you, once the video turned on. Be an Israelite in a daily basis. You know, you go by. You know, some family, whatever the case says, you know, you're hungry, they cook some food, it will be pork. You say, nah, don't eat pork. Don't be like, you know, I'm hungry, I have nothing else to eat, and nobody around, so I'll just eat the pork. Nah, you don't maintain your integrity. I fear, I fear. Understand? Go ahead. Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 63. It says, Surely he knoweth your invention, and what ye think in your hearts, even them that sin. And would hide their sin. Can you understand them that would sin and would hide their sin? You understand? You acting like you just didn't commit an iniquity, so you're going about your merry business. Because why? Because you believe nobody is seeing you as the scripture say you know you're compass with walls. You understand? Nobody is seeing you. But the most high know the scriptures talk about you know the birds that you said them that have wings carry the word. No curse the king not even in their thoughts. Verse 67 says, Behold, God Himself is the judge. Fear Him, leave off from your sin, and forget your iniquity. To meddle no more with them forever, so shall God lead you forth and deliver you from your troubles. This is um, 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 11. Let him eschew evil and do good, let him seek peace and ensue it. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous, and his ears are open to them in, unto their prayer. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. Mm. Yes, the most high is against evil doing. Whatever is in the darkness must come forth to the light. That what the scripture said. Whatever is done in secret will become will come out into the open. Sure, there's that, nothing hidden. to them that um the 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 most I see it all and know it all. Right. Anybody have anything else? Yeah, I have a precept there. Why? I have two precepts. This book of Hebrews 3 verse 13. It says, but exhort, exhort one another daily. Mm -hmm. Alright? That as big brother was saying. You are Israelite every day of your life. Okay. You understand? But exhort one another daily while it is called today lest any of you should be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin you understand that's why the brotherhood is for you understand so that hey we, we are wrong each other we, we build up each other so that this world you wouldn't get caught up into this world you understand you wouldn't get caught up in the world and, and, and feel you are part of the world because you have a say no man can serve two masters can as the scripture says sin is basically a deceit you really looking pleasant and, mm -hmm. and, 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 and gracious in your side, right. but be, uh, when you 
when you really go into it, it's, 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 a, it's basically filth. It's filth. It's filth. Can't. That's why the scripture says, um, yeah, basically, you have to beat your body into subjection. Can't. You yeah, have yeah. Can. Yeah. Um, this first Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 27. It said, But I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, mm. lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself be a castaway. You don't want to be a caster at the end of the day. I yeah, tell so. you, don't bring the wood, you know what I mean? Right, you just go yeah. outside spew, you outside your mouth. Yeah, it means to, uh, yeah, big brother, because I just say, to be black and blue, yeah. and you look it up. It's like you're holding your head in a headlock and you're, you're beating your flesh black and blue till it, till it obey what you want it to do. But the flesh is a rebellious thing. You understand? Know Flesh want to do every single thing outside here. Can. Everything you will have is vice. The flesh easily enticed by that deceit, that yeah. sin. Yeah. And he saw, he saw poet. He saw just do so to the flesh and live and stretch out the hand. And we trying to change your life and be spiritual men in this wicked world. Hmm. You understand? Have a precept day by the time. These are Galatians. Chapter 1, verse 4. It says, who, who gave himself for our sins that he might deliver us from this present evil world according to the will of the Mosai and our Father? Yeah, and that was back then. Paul said he, the world that he was living in at that time was evil and fucking more so now. Can. Trying to live according to the laws of the Mosai in this evil place. Son. So it could be a fight, but we had to fight it off. The, 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 uh, deceitfulness of sin, we had to fight off that. And don't be a Israelite when we are around the camp. You know? Hey! So we will go and eat pork and thing in and secret. And then you go and eat pork in secret. The Mosai in see. The Mosai see. Mosai took Ezekiel. <laughs> And show him all the elders of Israel what I was doing in secret to worship in ta women weeping for Tammuz. This next set of elders so worshiping idols. Most I do all, all them things. Most I see, yeah. So I have to fear the Lord. You can. Galatians 6, verse 9. And let us not be weary in well doing, for in due season we shall reap what we feed not. We faint not. If we don't faint, if we don't stop, we are to continue this way. Faith is the endurance in this truth. Can. Go ahead. This is our um, first chapter 1 and verse 22. It says, Being born and raised not of corruptible seed, but of the incorruptible by the word of the most high, which liveth and abideth forever. For right. all flesh is in grass. And all the glory of man as the flower of grass, the grass withers and the flower thereof fall away. <coughs> but the word of the Havabah Shemir shine there forever. And this is the word of thy the gospel that speaks unto you. Okay. Okay. One here is um, Revelation 2, verse 14. Verse 4. It says, Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. And the first love is what? This truth. You come in this truth and you leave the first love to go back into the world to do your old habits. And the reason why men tend to do that is because they never really crucify the old men. All they do is just put him on a back burner. Guess what? He's going to come back in the front. That is why you have to grow strong in this. The scripture said, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Meaning always growing. The more you grow, the more you'll be able to counteract demons and this truth. Understand? Mm-hmm. That is why the scripture says prayer with fasting is good. So you have to be fasting. That is part of our tradition. Fasting. Alright? You fast, you pray and beg the most side to give you understanding. Alright? Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, oh, I had some. Um, Sirach chapter 6. 7 verse 36 
whatsoever thou takest in hand, remember the end and thou shalt never do a miss. Yeah, remember the mess, remember the end. Remember the end what? The scriptures said what? When he turned away his face, when the gates of repentance closed, when the Lord don't care about two thirds, when the Lord just is time to do judgment. All right, you don't want to be caught up in that, so just do what the Lord required to do. Don't be a sometimes Israelite, be an all time Israelite. Yeah. This is um, second Ezra chapter 2. You see, remember the end, right? Second Ezra chapter 2, verse 38. Arise up and stand, behold the number of those that receive in the feast of the Lord, which are departed from the shadow of the world and have received the glorious garment of the Lord. Take thy number, O Sion. And shut up those of thine that are clothed in white, which have fulfilled the law of the Lord. Thy number of thy children, whom thou longest for, is fulfilled. Beseech the power of the Lord that thy people, which have been called from the beginning, may be hallowed. Right? So the end is what? To be crowned. A crown of glory. And mm -hmm. ask me here for you. Is um, 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 12 It says let no man despise thy youth But be thou an example Of the believers In word In conversation In charity In spirit In faith And in, and in purity Alright so you have to be pure You have to be chaste Alright you have to be chaste in this thing Alright free, um, free from all fault But the scripture said to appear before him You know without blame But it says what In word in conversation, in charity, and in spirit. Your whole spirit. Your whole spirit is supposed to be concerning the truth. Hey, like I had this thing where I used to do to remember precepts. I used to write out the entire precept on my mirror. So that when you go in the mirror, the precept, right? They say you read it. Alright? Some brothers, you know, and, and, and being, being, being that way, you will never be able to be caught with your pants down. Once you're all time Israelite. Nobody would be able to catch you in a quagmire situation. We say, well, you know, you are Israelite and this is what you're doing. You know, you wouldn't be able to be caught in that quagmire situation because why you always circumspect and your mind always on the will of your Haba Hashem Shai. Okay. Anybody ask something? Anybody ask something? Go ahead, I ask something here, but go ahead. It's Ephesians chapter 3, start on verse 16. It says that ye, that he, would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might of his spirit in the inner man mm. that Mashiach may dwell in your hearts mm. by faith mm. that ye be rooted and grounded in love this is Ecclesiasticus chapter 39 Verse 1, it says, But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of the ancient and will occupy and will be occupied in prophecies. All right, meaning that you always only look out. The scriptures talk about the men that will never hold their peace. These men that will never hold their peace are all times Israelite, not sometimes. They don't do things for face value, they don't keep the laws because they believe that you know they will get rebuked they keep the laws because they, they know they don't want to sin against the harba shimei al shai he will keep the saying of the the sayings and the renowned men and where some still parables are he will be there also he will seek out the secrets of the grave sentences and be conversant in dark parables he shall serve among great men and aforetime princes and he will travel through strange countries for he had tried the good and the evil among men it says he will give his heart to resort early to the lord that made him all right i will pray to the most high i will open his mouth in prayer i will make supplications for sins so you're going to the most and say lord you know i sin i did this you know please forgive me all right, because how men that don't pray, a majority of men who don't pray is the men who don't believe. You have to believe in this thing. All right. Um, scripture says, "Watch as well as pray." Can it says, "When great Lord will, he shall be filled with the spirit of understanding, and shall pour out wise sentences and give thanks unto the Habashim Yashin's prayer, and shall 
direct his counsel and knowledge and in his secrets shall he meditate in his secrets shall he meditate so when brothers not around you when you home you sitting on the couch and you thinking about the scriptures you thinking about a particular breakdown because why your mind always on this word and that is how your mind is supposed to be always on this word you can't let the enemy infiltrate and take us over okay. right yeah, some. Yeah, can't. Right. It's um the book Second uh, Timothy two verse one. Now therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in your Mashiach, in the things that thou hast heard of me, among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men, who shall be able to teach others also. Yeah, and this will be doing. We come in this thing to learn how to teach, not not just to be students, but to teach. All right, and to be a good teacher, you have to go, you have to rehearse, you have to go over things over and over to be able to have it on key, to on point. And that is what a teacher does. So we're not, we're not, guess what, we're not, we're not, you know, um, remaining students all the time in this truth. We, at some point, we are, you know, at some point, we're going to have to become, you know, teachers. At some point, we're going to have to show what we've been learning in this truth. And if you are sometime Israel, guess what? Eventually you're gonna fall out and where where your works? Where would your works be? All you're gonna have is a bag of excuses or why you left the truth, but your work's not gonna be there. Go ahead. Yeah, that is it. Alright. Yeah, so Mark. Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah, so you know, that is that is basically it. You know, we just wanted to, you know, shed off the you know, truly spread. That you know it's, it's not to just be an Israelite when you know you're in front of the camera and it's time to do the works so or videos or when other brothers come around. Right? You have to be an Israelite at all times because as I said, it goes more than the doctrine is nationality and this this how our custom will. Alright? This how our custom will the things our customs is based off the law. Our custom based off the law because it had things that included in the law that we used to keep our dress code based on the law and that is also a tradition all right so when you're mind to this guess what you will do the thing that are written within and you're going to seek out the understanding of the ancients concerning the scriptures this is john chapter 14 and verse 23 it says yahweh shall answered and said unto him if a man love me he will keep my words and my father will love him and he will come unto him and make our abode with him an abode abode his yeah. house because we are the temple of the most high so you dwell in his temple it says second timothy chapter 2 verse 5 but watch thou in all things endure afflictions do the work of an evangelist make full proof of thy ministry can make full proof of the ministry you understand? Make full proof. It hey, means to pay best foot forward. Always abound in the work of the Lord. Do this thing. Whether whether or not you have supervision around. Do it because why? Because you your delight is to serve your Abba Shai. Well, for I am now ready to be offered at the end at the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought the good fight, I have finished my course, I have kept the faith. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness which Yahweh or the Lord the righteous judge shall give me at that day and not only me and not me only but unto all them <coughs> also that appearing. love his appearing mm. do and thy diligence to come shortly unto me can and the one who loved the Lord's appearing is the one that what that did all things to serve Yahweh Hashem Shai and believe within that they did sincerely because guess what a lot of you men gonna be out there in that time and you're gonna be you know you're gonna be heartbroken. You're gonna be hiding because you know you didn't do the you you won't write. You know you won't write. You understand? Right. Understand, you know you won't write. Go ahead. Rock chapter 2 and verse 15. They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word, and they that love him will keep his ways. They that fear the Lord will seek that is well pleasing unto him, and they that love him shall be filled with the law. Can you know do the things that well pleasing unto the Lord means what to, to, to dive into this word 
be occupied in prophecies and to the things that always pleasing unto the Lord. Do the things to show the Lord you have a shemel shed and no man able to take your crown. And don't just do it, you know, in front, brother, because the men that do these things face value are the men that actually follow the camp. All right? So with that, you know, we hope it was edifying. If not informative. Can we give all praises to Yahweh, Ma Hashem Yahshai, Ma Hashem Rakar Kodash? And we give double honors to the apostles of the way. So that we will. Salutations to the whole Francis and Saint Leg. This is Makazar saying, Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.